Okay. Mike, I've got a lot of work hey, to do, so you, give me the brush uh, off, man. What do I have to do? Call security? You can call the Marines for all I care, but I'm not leaving this office until you tell me why you walked out on Charlene. How are we feeling tonight, Mrs. Hamilton? I've been better. Okay. Well, let's check your vitals and see what's going on. Easy there, Curly. I don't want to float away yet. <laughs> Would I let anything happen to you? You keep smiling at me like that, and a gal my age could get ideas. Don't tease me, Mrs. Hamilton. I have a delicate heart. You and me both. <laughs> 160 over 74. Not too good. Room for improvement. Or you, maybe. Ready to do some breathing for me? Not until you tell me why you're so chipper tonight. I'm always this way in the presence of a pretty lady. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? No. I just want to know who you were talking about before you... You, you said you never should have trusted her. Yes, so? Does this mean you're working with a woman? Who is she? Oh, Cass, have you got it? Is right it? Right here. Open it up. I can double count. It's all there. Oh. Now, what we have to do is wait for our cash-hungry friend to make the call. Well, if you ask me, whoever is behind this is pretty pathetic. <laughs> I mean, some people won't do for money. Oh! <laughs> It's for Carlos. In California? It's a book about maturity. He can't buy a book about maturity? Today, families are making all kinds of U.S. calls. So AT&T True Reach Savings saves you 25% on all of them when you spend just $25 a month. Oh, I miss you so much. Even 2,000 miles away, Jimmy. Privacy? I'm going to call you day and night. Every hour. Hour? Savings on all kinds of calls. That's your true choice. AT&T. Wow, someone obviously thinks that you're a very special person. Because that's not just Raisin Bran, that's post-premium Raisin Bran. With not just lots, but hundreds of big, plump raisins. And those big, premium flakes have whole-grain wheat. Whoever gave you that sure must think you're special. Post Makes everybody feel like somebody special. Make up your mind, all right? You're either a contractor or you are a thief, all right? You are a contractor or a thief. How many thieves do you know got day jobs? Critics everywhere are calling to If I See, the best romantic comedy film of the year. Do you love me, Frank? What do you mean? Bye-bye. Sandra Bullock gives another terrific performance. I feel pretty good! <laughs> A perfect date movie, joyful and romantic. Relax, I would never hurt you. Sandra Bullock, Dennis Leary, Two If I See. Just kidding. Rated R. Starts Friday, January 12th. The flu. You've got what it takes to overpower the pain. Or do you? Now you do. Because now there's a hot flu remedy from Alka-Seltzer Plus. New Alka-Seltzer Plus hot flu and body aches formula. The hot, soothing liquid speeds powerful medicines to your worst aches and coughs to quickly ease your pain. New Alka-Seltzer Plus Hot Flu and Body Aches Formula. What flu? You hunger for change. The joy comes to you made with fresh carrot chunks, crunchy baby corn, and dark, rich sauces. Change is good. The joy. Bigger, brighter, crunchier. Dr. Evans? Good evening, Dr. Winthrop. Dr. Evans, I'd like you to meet my favorite patient, Faye Hamilton. 
Hello. Faye, this is Courtney Evans. She's an intern here at Bay City General. Faye was admitted uh, last week with chronic emphysema. She uh, was complaining of severe weakness and shortness of breath. I put on prednisone and an antibiotic, which seemed to help stabilize her condition. Pardon me, but are you two together? I beg your pardon? You know, a couple. What makes you think that? Very. My lungs are failing, but not my eyes. So, am I right? Uh, Dr. Evans, care to field this one? Well, I'm, I'm just an intern, remember? Oh, look, I don't mean to put you kids on the spot. I just noticed a spark between you, and if I'm wrong, I apologize. No, you're not wrong, Mrs. Hamilton. Oh, I thought I heard wedding bells. Oh, uh, 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 that would be your heart monitor. And you're not engaged? Uh, no, no, actually, we, we just started dating. It's a long story. Well, well, maybe you'd better make it short. Time isn't exactly on my, on my side these days. Who are you trying to kid? You're gonna be home in no time. Oh, yeah, listen. When I was diagnosed first, I prayed to God for a miracle. Even though I'd lived a full life, I wanted more time. But what I forgot is, I'd already been given a miracle. My husband. We had 53 years together. That's a long time. And you'd be surprised how fast it goes. That's why you shouldn't waste a second. Enjoy every moment you have together. That's why, that's what Bernie and I did. Well, I'm sure you have a lot of great memories. Oh, well, my time is over. It's not the same without Bernie. And you two, Take my advice. Enjoy what you have together and stay close to each other. Well, I need to keep my eye on you right now. You promised me that dance when you get better. Oh, Curly. Well, there's nothing in the world I love more, but we both know that's not going to happen. I've got my suit pressed and ready. Oh, well, you never mind about me. You just hang on to Blondie here and never, ever take for granted what you have. from this whole ordeal. Oh, look, why don't you go over there and, and sit down, and I'll finish cleaning this up. Okay. okay. Rachel's going to be livid, because that's her best china. Uh, if I, she could I, shell I, out a cool million in cash, I doubt a broken coffee cup is going to phase her. Carlino, have you briefed everyone on procedure? Yeah, we got a half a dozen squad cars ready to roll. Good. Uh, has Flip got everything ready? I'm going to check with him right now. Good. Mr. Puniak, the next step here is up to you. What do you, what do you mean? Well, when the kidnapper calls, we're going to need you to keep him on the phone as, as long as you possibly can. Oh, you mean the trace the call thing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Actually, modern technology allows us to go one step further than that. Really? Mm hmm Okay, we're all set. As soon as the phone rings, the incoming caller's number will automatically appear on Flip's screen. Good. As soon as we lock in on a location, we'll know exactly where the kidnapper is calling from. Well, this guy could be on the other side of the bay for Which a Which is all the more reason to keep him talking. And Mr. Pulignac, do you think you can do that? Oh, I'll certainly try, Captain, yes. Good, good. I've been in touch with the DA's office, and Dana Kramer ensures me that whoever is responsible for kidnapping your daughter will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. What makes you think I would tell you anything? I, I was just curious, that was all. Who's this woman you're working with? Or, or should I say working for? I gotta get out of here. Where are you going? I'm gonna make a phone call, Maggie. No! You stay put, all right? What, are you gonna call your contact this war? Oh! Shut up, Maggie. Shut up. Okay? The less you know... <clears throat> oh! I gotta get down to business. Now listen to me. Don't try anything stupid. You're gonna regret it. Just look at me now, dear. I have it again. Oh, Michael. Without? Because everywhere I turn. Oh, Michael. Good afternoon, madam. Oh, Michael. Oh, Michael. The only thing better than having a smart pop is having a dream.
94% fat-free, 100% carefree. Smart Pop from Orville Redenbacher. So what's it gonna... Hey, it's you! How old are you? I'm a big fan! Really? Yeah, I just love your Diamond Minute rate. Oh, well, actually, that's Sprint's Diamond Minute rate. Don't be so modest. It's great. And it's good forever. You know how I count out my tips now? I take the dimes and I go one minute, two minutes. <laughs> that's nice. I'll have the soup. Hey, Rocco! Look, it's the dime lady! Oh, boy. Sprint's really started something. Call now and get 10 cents a minute across the U.S. and now even to Canada. Like anyone who lives in Moore County, when I make beef stew, I use only the freshest ingredients, and I cook it real slow. Fast is fine if you're a racehorse or a rabbit, not if you're making stew. So once a week, I bring my dinky Moore stew here. You see, not everyone has the time we do in Moore County. So I pack up a little extra for the rest of the world. Good, Good morning, Dorothea. Dear. Morning, lady. Homemade goodness from Dinty Moore. Night on the town? That's easy. Weekend in the Caribbean? That takes finesse. Softness from a conditioner? That's easy. Softness and body? That takes finesse. With two conditioners, one that penetrates for softness, one that evaporates and lifts for body, for fuller, more beautiful hair. Softness, that's easy. Softness and body? That takes finesse. Tonight is Dates from Hell Night. What's wrong with Chandler's date? Big head, big head, big head. Then, an all-new single guy date with a teenager and her daddy? Want a bite of this tender young meat? And will Elaine's blind date be... Undateable? Undateable! And on a new Caroline, this guy will give Richard a job if Richard can give him... Where's your cleavage? NBC Tonight. The episode that stunned America. Winner of two Emmys. It's not working. Why can't you deliver this baby? Love's Labor. Lost. ER. NBC Tonight. I did not walk out on my wife. Charlene wanted the separation, not me. Well, is that okay with you? Of course not, but what else can I do? Well, stop acting like a jerk, for one thing. I told you I've got a lot of work to do. Oh, since when is hospital work more important than saving your marriage? Come on, man! She's over at your house right now. The movers are... are, are... She's packing her whole life into the back of that truck, John. And, and she's doing it without your help. I don't, I don't understand why. She only sold that place to help pay off your malpractice settlement. Is that why you came by here, Mike? To try to make me feel worse than I already do? No. I just thought you might try to imagine how hurt Charlene must feel and right Don't you now. think I have? Well, then what are you doing about it? Some things you just can't fix. Can't or won't? Oh, come on, you make it seem like I wanted this to happen. Well, maybe you did. I mean, otherwise, how else could you walk out on Charlene after all these years? It's not like I don't love her. Well, don't tell me that. Tell her that. It's... It's become too complicated, Mike. Oh, uh -huh. I see. Because of Felicia? Charlene told you, huh? Yeah, she told me. And I gotta tell you, man, I couldn't believe it. Well, neither one of us wanted it to happen. It just did. Oh, really? So, uh, tell me, if neither of you wanted it to happen, how did it happen? I don't know. It... I was hurting, and Felicia was there. Pal, do you know how much Charlene is hurting of right now? Of course I do, and if I could change that, I would. You have a wonderful wife. She's one in a million. And you have a beautiful little boy. Now, I want you to look me right in my eyes and tell me that you are willing to throw that all away. Well, I, I, I really don't care about prosecuting or arresting this person. I, I, I think we should all be concerned about my daughter. Yes, I agree. Yes. Mr. Poniak, we're just doing our job. Well, then just bring my baby back home to Everybody's me. Everybody's doing their best to find her. What would I do without you? The police have everything under control, <gasps> Cecilia. Here oh. we go, people. Let's go. Oh. Remember, keep them talking as long as you can. You all set? Flip. Yeah, let's do it. Hello? Is this Maggie's mother? Uh, yes. You got the dough? What? The ransom money. Oh, yes, I, I, I have it all right here. Good. Listen, 
take that money to the abandoned docks at Bear Creek in one hour. Uh-uh. Sweet, get a number? Negative. You guys got a block on the phone. See if we can break it. Well, uh, the Bear Creek. Now, let's see. Um, could you tell me how to, how to get there? There's only one road you can take. And listen, lady, you better come alone. How, how, how is Maggie? Is she all right? Bring the cops, and she won't be. Damn it. What happened? Guy put a block on his number. We couldn't make a trace. Well, so much for modern technology. Well, at least we know where he's headed. Yeah, well, the guy's definitely good at covering his tracks. Yeah. What do we do now? Well, we obviously have no choice. We just um, follow the man's instructions, right? No, 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 not so fast. Carlino, get in touch with the station house. I need a map of Bear Creek up here ASAP. Done. Miss Frame, could you check the house, see if there's any highlighters or colored pencils that we can use? Sure. sure. Highlights. What, 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 what is it you're planning to do exactly now, Captain? And organize a stakeout. But he, he wants me to come along. And you will. Oh, good. Then, if you'll just hand me the briefcase, I'll be on my way with no, the no, ransom money. No, 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 this money. stays right here until my men have surrounded Bear Creek. No, you can't do that. My daughter's life is at stake here. Yes, I realize that, Mr. Poulignac, but we have to set up surveillance before there can be a money exchange. That way, we can move in and make an arrest. Set up surveillance? We, we, we don't have the time. He, he's supposed to have me there in an hour. He, he wants... He will wait. Trust me. All right, the map's on its way. Good. Uh, here's the pencils and markers. Great, okay. thanks. I'm all set to booby trap the uh, briefcase. Joe, okay. you know, will you please try to ration... Oh, did you say booby trap the briefcase? Yeah. You don't think we're gonna let some creep run off with Rachel's money, do you? Uh, how, how, do you how, how do you plan to do that? Well, first we rig it so that when this thug opens a case, permanent dye will spray all over him. And then we mark every bill so we can trace him. Just in case a kidnapper does get the money, he won't be able to spend a dollar of it without getting caught. You know, I gotta get to work. Okay? I see. Don't you touch this money. <laughs> Looks like he's ready to eat with the big guys. It's tempting to let him eat adult foods now, but his growing body still has special nutritional needs. Needs that can be better served at any meal with Gerber Graduates. The only complete line of nutritionally smart foods made just for toddlers. The longer you can help him grasp the lesson of eating healthy now, the better his chances are for eating smart when he really is a big guy. Gerber Graduates, for learning to eat smart right from the start. The temperature inside your mouth is 98.6 degrees. The same as a sweltering jungle. Ugh. But the temperature inside a winter fresh mouth tastes... <laughs> winter fresh gum from Wrigley's. That lasts. Uh -huh. And lasts. Yeah. And lasts. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Try winter fresh gum for icy cool breath that lasts. Every time you wash your face with soap, your skin loses moisture. The harsher the soap, the more moisture you will lose. Dove is not a soap. In fact, Dove with one quarter moisturizing cream helps replenish and protect your skin's natural moisture. Some grilled cheese sandwiches. You want one? Sure. Dear Alfred. Alfred? Here are a couple things to make living on your own a little easier. Love, Mom. Cool. Yikes. Hey, check this out. Nothing turns a sandwich into a satisfying meal like rich, wholesome Campbell's tomato soup. So you know your family's eating right, even when you can't be there to cook for them. There's nothing like a home-cooked meal. You said it, Alfred. Campbell's makes everything better. Big news! Extra softness is here! With a new soft cloth-like cover, Huggies Ultra Trim are rolling into town with the softest delivery ever. Watch as we compare an ordinary diaper with new soft Huggies. Go ahead, feel for yourself. Ah, so very soft. In fact, they're a softer way to help stop leaks. New Huggies Ultra Trim with cloth-like softness. They're changing the way everyone feels about diapers. You look like you're a natural at that. 
Oh, I come up here sometimes when I need a break. You always cheer me up. Hmm? You feeling down? No, no. Not, not really. Oh. What's going on? She's terminal, isn't she? Who? Mrs. Hamilton. Faye's prognosis doesn't look good. It's one thing about this job I'll never get used to. No, I'll never get used to it. So you come up here to cheer yourself up, huh? Yep. Yep. These guys always make me smile. You wanna try? Uh, Didn't you tell me you used to babysit for your niece all the time when she was newborn? Yeah, I missed that. Uh, here you go. Here you go. Hey, this is Dr. Winthrop. Yeah. I ought to come up here more often. <laughs> I recommend it. Hey. You're a cutie, aren't you? What are you looking at? What are you giving me that look for? <laughs> I think she wants you to love her. I think I can do that. <laughs> Talk about a natural. Well, you know, at least this patient won't be able to tell us how we really feel about each other. Yeah? I wouldn't be so sure about that. Babies are pretty intuitive. <coughs> oh. Here we go. You lie down? Oh, nice. Yeah. You never told me how your therapy session went this morning. What? Uh, Nurse, can you watch? Uh, it's better. Yeah, huh? Well, it, it was different. It was different? How so? Yeah, well, I... We didn't talk about Andrew that much. I actually spent most of the time talking about you. You, you want to hear what I... what I said? Only if you want to tell me. Well, I had a revelation. I I realized how different it is living with you. When I was living with Andrew, I used to dread coming home, and now I can't wait to walk through the door. Me too. And I'm just I'm just sorry that I that I let you down last night. What do you mean? Well, when when we were holding each other, I could tell that you wanted more. Could you now? Yeah. Yeah, I could. Well, as I recall, I was the one who suggested we slow down. I don't want to do anything that you can't handle. Well, yeah, but that's not fair to you. Well, I'm not complaining. I want you to feel comfortable. It's not that I don't want to be with you, Morgan. I know that. We'll be together when it's right for both of us. Nothing's going to change my feelings for you. I am not throwing my life away. I love my son. I would do anything for Gregory. But it's not going to do him any good to be in a home where Charlene and I do nothing but argue with one another. So your answer to this problem is like to have a midlife fling with Felicia? Oh, come on. It's not like we're having some kind of cheap affair. Well, what is it? I don't know. <clears throat> do you love her? I have feelings for her, yes. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, but are they the same kind of feelings that you have for Charlene? No, it's... It's different. Why, why didn't you tell me about this? Because your response was predictable. Hey, man, I'm your brother. I'm supposed to point out when you're doing something completely ass. I don't expect you to understand. What do you mean you don't expect me to understand? I, I wrote the book on mistakes with women. Oh, come on, please. No comparisons. This is nothing like you and Donna. You're right. This is nothing like me and Donna. Donna and I have been splitting up since, since the day we met. But I gotta tell you, man, there are times when I think about how much I blew it. I just blew it. I don't want the same thing to happen to you, that's all. Don't just worry about your own life, okay? Well, fine. I will. I just want you to know you're going to regret this. Believe me. Yeah, good. Well, I don't want your advice, and I don't have time to stand here and argue with you, so let's drop it. John, come on, man. You're... Listen to me. You're not the kind of guy that cheats. And Felicia doesn't want to come between you and Charlene. I know that. So just, this was a mistake, okay? It was a mistake. It never should have happened. You don't know no, what's I, going on. I'll tell you what I do know. I knew that you're going to have to save your marriage. You're going to have to be the one to do it. And if it means never seeing Felicia again, then that's the way it's got to be. Then I'm perfectly capable of handling my own problems, so back off. Fine. If you keep seeing Felicia like this, you are going to lose your whole family. Well, that includes my pain in the ass, brother. Then so be it. Oh, you are the most. Don't do this get to out me, of man. Here, Mike. I'm. You are so. I mean, it. get the hell out of here. Doctor Hudson. What do you want? What is going on in here? Mr. Polonyak is 
there a problem? Well, actually, Captain, I think there is. I'm, I'm totally appalled that you would even consider sabotaging this briefcase. This is just standard operating procedure. Well, I think it's dangerous. And how do you figure that? Well, what if the kidnapper gets away and, 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 and he takes the briefcase with him that's and you exact, don't catch him? That's exactly why we need to mark the money. Well, that's going to infuriate him. What's your point? I don't want the lunatic coming back after Maggie once he's realized he's been duped. I personally guarantee that you will have our protection. Oh, do you really? Well, gee, is that the kind of protection that you gave us at the hospital gala uh, right before all hell broke loose with so, the bombs? Do you have scale? a better idea? Yes, I do. Let's just give the lunatic the damn money. What? Have you lost your mind? Oh, for heaven's sake, it's just a million dollars. I mean, it'll be a welcome tax deduction for Rachel. What does she care? Cecile, do, do you realize what you're saying? You want to let these people get away with this? Uh, Cass, I don't want Maggie to go through any more than she's already been through. Mr. Poulignac, this is not your decision to make. Why isn't it? I'm the girl's mother, and I'll do anything to get Maggie back here safely. You want her home safely? You let me do my job. All right, that's it. Fine, fine. Uh, you've given me no alternative. As of right this moment, Captain, um, you, you are fired. <laughs> Beg your pardon? Your services are no longer needed, thank you. Cecile, these men are not your manicurists. You cannot fire the police department. Oh, thank you very much, Mary Frances. But this is my problem, and I'll deal with it the way I see fit. I have an appointment. Mr. Poulignac, let's not make this any more difficult than it has to be. Uh, my sentiments exactly, so if you'll please remove your Ms. hand from the briefcase, Mr. Poulignac, I... please, please. Now, take this. You brought the police into this. As captain, I am in charge of this case. You may have the authority. But, but that's Rachel Corey's money, and I, all I have to do is make a phone call I to Rachel. I have spoken with can... Mrs. Hutchins, and she totally supports our plan. <sighs> Don't you people care at all about my daughter? Yes, we do. We're doing everything we possibly can to secure her safety. Oh, you are. And how is that, writing little invisible mustaches on Benjamin Franklin? Mr. Poulignac, you have to try and stay calm through... Don't other... tell me to calm down! What is wrong with you people? This is my daughter. She could be killed. And, and, and you care about Rachel's precious money and criminals and catching them. My baby could be hurt and you don't care about her. You don't care at all. She's not going to make this easy. She can even complicate a kidnapping. Excuse me. Cecile. Yes. You can stop pretending now. I know what's really going on. Isn't it amazing how a new look can say so much about you? Well, Tampax Tampons has a new look, and it says a lot about us. Our applicator has been improved, so now it's sleeker, smoother, and really comfortable to use. But our unbeatable protection remains unchanged. Hey, good looks always help. But it's what's on the inside that counts. Look for improved Tampax tampons in a bold new box. Trust is Tampax. I don't like to admit it, but I do have more aches and pains now than I did ten years ago. Fortunately, I've also got something else I didn't have ten years ago. Motrin IB. Motrin IB. The pain stops here. Why compromise on your laxative? On the one hand, you want strong, but on the other hand, you want gentle. Get both with Docolax. So effective, doctors recommend it most, and it's gentle with comfort coating. Get strong, get gentle, get Docolax. When I'm with you, you take me away. Tomorrow on Today, he spent 37 years in prison for two killings he insists were self-defense. Now, finally, he's a free man. Tune in tomorrow and see what a difference today makes. And now, cooking with Chef Jim. Today, I'm going to show you how to debone a chicken breast, season it perfectly, cut it into strips, and cook it just right, all in less than five seconds. You ready? It's our new Purdue Shortcuts. We've already done all the work. All you have to do is add it to your favorite dish. This cooking business sure is hard. New Purdue Shortcuts Chicken. Look for all four in the fresh meat case. 
from the incredible video everyone is talking about. O.J. Simpson plays show and tell behind Cato's guest house. Cato, I think, testified that there were three distinct cults. Step by step, O.J. explains why he believes prosecutors got their facts all wrong. It's O.J.'s side of the story for the very first time. Exclusive. O.J. makes his case only on hard copy. Turn to 10 for hard copy Thursday at 7. Now, more than ever, you can turn to News Channel 10. When I'm with you, you take me away to another world. Have you found someplace else to live? Place to live? No, nah, no, Rita, don't think I have. Really haven't had the time. Well, I think you better find the time, because I will not allow you to spend one more night in this hospital. Do I make myself clear? You listen to me. I am the chief of staff of this hospital, and I don't appreciate you waltzing in here and giving me ultimatums. So I'll find a place to live when I'm damn good and ready. Until then, I've got a lot of work to do, so excuse me. You know, I don't know what your personal problems are, but when they start affecting this hospital, the hospital will suffer, and that I will not tolerate. I am. Where? Why would I tell you that? That would be stupid. I will tell you this. It's going to be someplace far away and someplace warm. What's going to happen to me? Well, I'll let your family know where you are when I pick up the money. So... And, and they'll come get me? When? Well, if everything goes according to plan, you should have to be here more than 12 hours tops. So, oh, this is almost over? Yeah, it looks that way. I thought I was going to be here forever. Are you disappointed? It'll be a relief to never see your face again. Wh who, who told you? No one. I figured it out watching you screaming at McNamara just now. <sighs> Well, you know, I can I explain. I am so I... proud of you, Cecile. You are? For the first time in your life, you're actually concerned about someone other than yourself. Oh. Well... I know that you and Maggie haven't been getting along, lately. That's why you blew up in there, isn't it? You're afraid that you won't have a chance to make up with your daughter. <laughs> you always could see right through me, Cass. You have to hang in there. It'll be over soon. I think it's going to get worse. <laughs> and why is everyone against me? No one's against you. The cops are just trying to do their job. Uh, I need to get the kidnapper the money. I need to I do that now. You have to put your faith in McNamara. He seems to know what he's doing. No, you don't understand. If they mark the money, if they touch the money, then I'll... Then you'll what? I'm just afraid something's going to go horribly wrong. It won't. You have to have a little faith. That's hard right now. Oh, I guess I had this coming to me. No woman deserves to have her child taken away from her. You're kind. You're too kind. I'm not exactly the epitome of motherhood, am I? Sometimes parents make mistakes. Yeah. I was never really a parent, was I? I was never here for Maggie, never involved in her life, too involved in mine, just flitting around the globe and marrying royalty. Well, those things were obviously important to you then. Obviously. But I do love her, you know? I know you do. I, I would never do anything to intentionally hurt her. Of course you wouldn't. Hey, where is this coming from? I'm just worried about her. It's all going to work out. You'll see. Hmm. <laughs> I, I, you know, I think I need to be alone right now. Are you sure? Mm. And besides, you have to go to, um, Rachel, right? Right, Whatever. I've got to get her to sign those release thing. papers, right. Um, so I'll be back as soon as I can. Okay. You tell Frankie where I've gone? Yes, and give Carl my regards. I will. You buck up. <laughs>
right now. There's the hard way to close a food bag. Or the hefty way with Hefty One Zip. Only Hefty One Zip bags have the amazing One Zip slider. Easy to close, first time, every time. So tight you can even zip and flip. Hefty One Zip. There's the hard way. Or the hefty way. Listen to how you could win a grand prize of one of a hundred trips for two to L.A. to see a live filming of Friends or thousands of other great prizes by specially marked packages of Diet Coke. Watch the Diet Coke commercial during Friends on January 11th, 18th, 25th, and 28th. See if one of them drinks it. Match the name under the cap with the Friends character who drinks the Diet Coke in the Diet Coke commercial each week, and you're a winner. Who's gonna drink the Diet Coke? Watch Friends. Some low-fat news from Kellogg's Pop-Tarts. I got a surprise for you for breakfast. You're not gonna believe this. Here's some hot news you grown-ups may want to sit down for. Will you work with me? <gasps> Indulge in the great-tasting line of Kellogg's low-fat Pop-Tarts, a tender crust filled with wholesome sweetness. What's not to like? Pretty tasty news, huh? Yes. Kellogg's low-fat Pop-Tarts. And now new frosted strawberry and frosted chocolate fudge. Chocolate? And it's not even your birthday. When I want clam chowder, I want the real thing. Nothing wimpy. And now Healthy Choice makes this great clam chowder. Thick, creamy, really chunky. I mean, we're talking hunks of potatoes, boatloads of clams, vegetables. Listen, this spoon is, is a workout. <laughs> and less than three grams of fat. This is a meal. <laughs> really cranks up the old thermostat. With Healthy Choice chowder, I eat what I like. This is for real. They thought the sniper was dead. They were wrong. There's been another sniper shooting. Maybe you're the target. The conclusion, sniper and all-new homicide, NBC Friday. Sunday, it's an all-new man about you. I threw my pack out. And the man in the house has to do everything. Not Paul, Murray. If you were last, so you'd get me a beer. Then, on an all-new news radio, everyone makes fun of Dave. Hello, employee. And gets him fired? If you fire Dave, I quit. Who's with me? Man about you, news radio, NBC Sunday. Excuse me, I'm looking for Rachel Hutchins. Yes. Hello. Um, Mr. Hutch Hutchins is in room uh, 213, I think, so his wife is probably down there with him. Uh, look, we don't uh, really have to act like total strangers. Well, after what happened, it's a, it's a little hard to be friendly. The lawsuit is over. Can we let bygones... How about a truce? I know that John and my brother think very highly of you, and I'm glad to see that your career is back on track. Thank you. I also understand that uh, congratulations are in order. I, a friend of mine told me that you were getting married. Oh, no. Uh, no, actually, uh, we broke off the engagement. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. No, no, no. It's, it's for the best. Um, in fact, Morgan is the person who helped me see that I would have been making a big mistake. How is he? He's good. In fact, um, we're, we're living together. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I had no idea you two were so close. Yeah, it's, it's all moving pretty fast. Well, I certainly wish you both the best. Uh, Morgan deserves to have someone as lovely as you in his life. Thank you. You said 2.13. Uh, yeah. I better go see if I can oh, find Oh, hold Rachel. on. Um, c can you wait for just a minute? Well, I'm in a bit of a hurry. No, no it'll just be a minute. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. You seem to have had a congestion Dr. problem. Dr. Winthrop, you're needed at the nurse's station. Okay, I'm busy. I'll be right there. Actually, Morgan, I think it's really important. Okay. I'll be right back. I was just thinking about you. I bet you were. Um, we really missed you over the holidays. How have you, how have you been? 
Drop the act, would you? Excuse me? I know what you're trying to pull. I have no idea what you're talking about. No, then maybe I should just ask Courtney. I mean, you're the one who got to do your dirty work, didn't you? Oh, you think I set this up? Oh, I wouldn't put anything past you. I came here to see Rachel. Is that right? Then why'd you get her to interrupt me while I'm working? I didn't. She took it upon and herself. And don't say anything to win an argument, won't you? And you will find any reason to start one. I'm warning you. Leave me alone. Leave Courtney alone. You've done enough to her as it is, don't you think she so? She and I made some real progress just now. We we're putting our hard feelings behind us. That's terrific. I'm not that forgiving. Take off, would you? Is that what you really want? We have nothing to say to each other. Maybe you don't, but I sure of do. Of course you do. Save your You're breath. You're really something, you know that? You're the one who told me to represent Laurie Michaels in the first place. Never thought you would. I didn't know I was supposed to read your You're mind. You were supposed to act like my brother. Is that what this is all about? Your disappointment in me? You still blame me, don't you? For not being a brother to you when you were a kid. You're nuts. You know it's what? not my fault that I was ostracized, that I was the black sheep in the family. Keep your voice down. I work here. You did that to yourself. I had a mother who didn't want to have anything well, to do with me. You blame it all on Mom. Go ahead, buddy. And you take her side again, as hey, usual. Hey, if you weren't busy fighting with her all the time, maybe things would have been different. I was Cass. too busy fending off the blows to find out. That's right. Always the lawyer. What, would you rather me walk around like you with this self-righteous chip on my shoulder? It's called compassion, Jack. Look into it. Compassion? All I see is a man who wants to heal everything except the relationship with his own brother. Now, doesn't that tell you something? It sure does, kid. And as far as I'm concerned, I don't have a brother either. if I said no? No. Look, um, no matter how angry we get at each other, and no matter how much we yell and whatever, you're still my brother and nothing's gonna change that. What brought this on? Well, let's just say I had a little, uh, <clears throat> revelation in the hallway there. Oh, really? What kind of revelation? That you're a big boy now and you do not need my approval. I would like to understand, though. Well, I wish you could, Mike, because I don't understand it myself. Well, maybe talking about it would help? <clears throat> you know where I spent the night last night? In the operating room. Not working. Sleeping. No, not even sleeping. I lay there wide awake, mulling over in my head everything that's happened, and I can't figure a damn thing out. Charlene said you were you were sleeping at the hospital here. I, I really figured you were over at Felicia's. No, no, I, I told you. It's not like we're having an affair. It's... I don't know what it is, but I know it's not Felicia's fault. And it's not Charlene's fault. It's my fault. I'm the one with the problem. That's good, though. I mean, at least if you know what the problem is, you know where to start to, to fix Mike, things. I have screwed up everything. I mean, I really feel like I'm just losing my grip here, you know? I've hurt everyone that I care about, my wife and my son. God, I miss my son. I mean, do you think that if this weren't serious, that I would have left him? I hate what this is doing to him. And it's been hell on Felicia, too. I mean, after all, she was just trying to be a friend. I don't know how all of this happened. I don't know how it started. All I know is that I was hurting and she was there for me. I was lost and... It's hard to explain. I... I mean, I always viewed my life with 
Charlene, as, as being a life with structure. There was a beginning and a middle and an end. There was work and family and children and... And then... Then little Ben Michaels died. And after we lost to him, there were the lawsuits. Then I lost my malpractice insurance, and we had to get rid of our home. And after we lost that, the nightmares started coming again. And I felt like I was back in Nam again. I mean, with loss after loss after loss, and there was nothing that I could do about it. Everywhere I turned, there was nothing but another black pit for me to fall into. I, I, I know that, that I, I appear to be a successful and well-respected doctor, but I have to tell you, Mike, inside, I mean, deep down inside, I feel like a little kid that's running away from these explosions in my head, and I... I can't stop him, Mike. I don't know where to go. I, I, I mean, I can't find any kind of... I'm scared. I'm just scared. I know. Yeah. Something about getting to be, um... older and gray, you know, and... Somehow that means that you're supposed to be, like, more mature. And then, uh... Catch yourself acting like a teenager, you know, and you say, Well, hell, I, I got this under control, no problem here. And then... Just make a mess. You know, I've been there. I think the only thing that you can do about something like this... Just try to help yourself, and you can begin that by taking care, taking care of yourself right now. <laughs> now. Well, I don't know. You're, you're the doctor. Heal yourself. I don't think that there's a prescription for this, Mike. Trial and error. It's going to be rough for a while, but, but you'll find your way. don't know how. Well, you'll figure it out. And I want you to know that I will be there for you no matter what choice you make. I'll be there for you every step of the way. You mean that? No, but I have to say that because I'm your brother. Yeah, well, I guess there's no escaping genetics. I wouldn't want to. That's good to know. Well, then, there's one other thing that you should know. That What's that? You're not a bad guy, pal. You're not a bad guy at all. A little bit of a pain in the butt, but... I love you. Send you a postcard from wherever. Don't do me any favors. Okay, well then it's goodbye time. Don't expect me to give you a hug either. Here all along, I thought we were getting along so well. I hope you get caught and they put you in prison for the rest of your life. Somehow, I don't think that's gonna happen. Have a nice life, Maggie. Wait, wait, look, before, before you take off, can... Can you do me a little favor? I don't know. Are you going to try to start being nice to me, or do you think it's a little too late? No, these, these ropes are way too tight. Can, um, my hands... Don't worry. I... Don't even worry. It's not going to be too much longer, right? My, my fingers, they feel like they're going to fall off. Will you just give me a break? Please, I'm, I'm totally on the level here. Can you just loosen it a little?
thirsty. Okay, we got purple stuff, soda, and Sunny Delight Light. Hmm, light Sunny D? Yeah, it's got less calories than regular Sunny D. It still has a healthy drug. <laughs> Ready for more? Yeah. Dancing! Sunny Delight Light, the good stuff kids go for. This is where your fight for clean teeth can be won or lost. Here, between your teeth, the toughest place to clean. But be aware, the most powerful instruments for penetrating between teeth aren't for home use. This is Crest Complete. It's designed to fit the shape of your teeth, so it comfortably penetrates and cleans far between them. If the toothbrush fits, use it. Crest Complete fits between to get teeth clean. When I got a yeast infection, I called my doctor, and she told me something I never knew. She said, you can start using Monistat 7 cream right now to relieve the itching. I didn't know that. Turns out, the very same Monistat cream I use for a cure at night, I can also use for fast relief of external itching during the day. No wonder my doctor thinks so highly of it. Monistat, the number one choice of women, the number one recommendation of doctors. When John Wayne sat in the saddle, we all sat up a little taller. Yeah. He made us feel bigger. He made us feel better. He made us believe. Here's to you, Duke. AMC, American Movie Classics, where the stars touch you. Dr. Hudson, you're unbelievable. You're chief of staff, you have a million things to do, and you still find time to donate. Okay, squeeze that and relax and, well, you know the drill. I was beginning to get worried. I'm sorry. I ran into someone unexpectedly at the hospital. Are you all right? It's no big deal. Did you see Rachel? Yes. And how's Carl? About the same. Did Mrs. Hutchins sign the release? We're all set. Great. All right, the briefcase is marked. You're ready to go. Good. Good. Where's Mr. Punya? You lost Cecile? This was not a part of the plan. Look, there is no plan anymore. What are you talking about? It, it, it's off. It, 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 everything went wrong. Uh, we should never have involved the police. That's what I said, but you were the one I who know, was... I know, I know. I couldn't help it, though. Everyone was pressuring me. Oh, back up. What even happened? Oh, they've marked all of the beautiful money. Once we try to spend it, they'll throw us in jail. Oh, the idea of wearing one of those neon orange jumpsuits. I thought you said this was oh. a sure thing. Well, obviously, I was wrong. Yeah. Well, there's got to be another way to this. No, there... There's no other way. This is over. It was a terrible idea. It was your idea, Cecile. Yeah, well, I regret it, so let's forget it ever happened. No, no, don't. No, 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 no. We had a deal, remember? The deal is off. I'm gonna let you get away from this scot-free? Would you rather go to federal penitentiary? You got me into this mess, Cecile. And we're gonna see this through one way or another. You got that, partner? Mother. Shut up, morons. Grumpier Old Men is the funniest movie of the year.